I am Khufu. Oh, Khufu, welcome. Thank you for coming. It is good to see you again. And how can I help you today? Nice to have you. Uh, once we're on the creation myths, um, I just uh, listened to a part of Corpus Hermeticum where um, they give uh, the creation myth. And uh, I realized it was given in the language which is... Uh, which was um, many centuries ago, thousands of years ago. So their understanding that the language was very different. I, I just wonder if you could uh, reinterpret for us the creation myth in our modern language and modern well, language. I'm interested in how it is interpreted. Uh, back then? I am interested in how they interpreted what I said. Yeah, I just noticed the phrase where they said that uh, and each uh, god has its own star, and they realized that god was an alien race, not actually a god. That is correct. Each alien race has their own star, yes, that is true. And many of them have come to Earth to add their touch to creation story. The Anunnaki was one who came and the those that are considered Atlanteans had come. They are all part of the creation story as well as um, others who have given their part of their civilization to this world. There are many beginnings, but there is only one true beginning. And that is when man was not so smart and not an intellect. He was Neanderthal or Cro-Magnon or whatever you want to call them. And the Anunnaki actually were the first to tamper with the creation of a true civilization. They advanced it quickly and gave man his present form, for it was very similar to their own. Also, the Atlanteans added their portion as well, although the Atlanteans did not always look like humans. They gave intellect and some thought processes to the human creation. The Anunnaki did bring about the human form as it is now. And so therefore, it is one sense of creation that is not told properly by the stories that are shown and deciphered. I know that many words from the past have changed in their interpretation they thought it was one word, but it is actually another. And so, therefore, many of these interpretations are incorrect. So, um, the, was there uh, some uh, hidden function encoded in our genome which will uh, reveal uh, itself soon? I did not hear that question. Uh, was there a special function encoded in our genome, which is not visible now, but it, which will uh, be revealed soon? A part of creation? Uh, I believe when they created us, they had encoded something which is uh, of course, do dormant, and it will uh, unravel itself sometime soon in, in connection with our evolution. Of course. Evolution is part of who you are, and of every species, of course. They did add portions to the brain, to the human brain, that are not portions of some other species' brains. There are those things that will be decoded very shortly. Telepathy and empathy, and these things are part of human race, not necessarily part of all species. But this is something that they did encode in humanity. There are many things that the future will bring for you. 
there are many different psychic energies that are available to hum humankind, but not quite yet. You have to understand, you must be ready and available to use them properly before they can awaken. Um, right. So the, uh, what is the divine part of the, of the creation? I mean, what was the, uh, um, first, what was, deities were involved and um, how are we related to them now? The Incas? Deities, deities, like uh, um, divine energies. Oh, deities. Yeah. Deities were involved. God is a deity that has both male and female thought processes. And they were involved in this as well. They understood what was happening and they had created a form of mankind before anyone had tampered with it. Their form of creation would have taken much longer, but it is that those aliens that have come, come to intercede with it made it much faster. And because they did so, it changed the mission of the planet. It changed the development of all things on this world. And it changed uh, the way that the future will be seen. Um, is there, or uh, I think there, there, there should be some um, interface between um, the physical person uh, and the God in, in, encoded in DNA. So let, let me rephrase it. So I yeah, think. There is. I, there uh -huh. is. The DNA, the way that man originally uh, uh, was created, there is signs of God in the DNA, in the brain, and in the heart. The consciousness is the part that is godlike. When God finally made the consciousness of man, it changed the way everything was working. Now the Anunnaki took that consciousness and changed the body, but that is all that they changed. The mind was already there. All right. So I assume there is like a, a big part of our subconscious, which is c much closer to you. And there is some, some artificial veil which was created to separate our consciousness from subconscious. Of course, there has and to be. The subconscious is the Akashic record of the person, which goes, which is also here with you and in the Akashic records above. But when you pass, it, all your information will go there to check that which is in the Akashic records already. Therefore, your subconscious is every moment that you've ever lived, whereas your conscious is those things that you bring to it for a reason. So I'm trying to figure out where the DNA comes in, and apparently DNA would be like uh, a program and an interface of um, this physicality to the bigger program and, of, of the soul. And um, when, say, when the soul of some individual, of some entity has no human experience, to plug into a human body, it would have to build some new interface to reconnect to the, to the DNA. Correct. You could not just plug into the DNA. You would have to program it. The, right. the DNA would have to be programmed to understand the new entity, or the new uh -huh. entity has to be programmed to understand what is what they are experiencing with plugging into the human, if you want to say it that right. way. Right. 
but there has to be reprogramming done, which means wow. that uh, the DNA will have to understand that which is coming in and act appropriately to accept it, integrate it, and make it valid. If it cannot do so, then the other entity will not understand, and there will be no uh, understanding between the two. Uh-huh. And then I'm thinking that um, as we uh, move from, uh, from, um, from the third chakra to the fourth, uh, the veil should be moving too. Of course. Like there is always ascension. No matter where you are in the universe or what step of ascension you are at, you never stop ascending. You always grow closer to the God that created, to, created you. But you will never reach that level of understanding, for he is always growing beyond you. And your understanding and capability to understand God is much less than his totality. Okay, I have a, a few minutes left. Um, I will stop the recording and I will ask a couple of personal questions. Um, very well. Yeah, the recording is being stopped. Thank you very much. And I'll continue yeah. with the personal questions. Just a recording. Yes. Bye, everybody.